chasing the police every single day. Hi, right, can I ask a? Qu I'm actually bad. Can I ask a question? Sure. All right. Uh, what's your opinion of cop watch holding the police accountable? Well, I think a lot of stuff you put on there is just kind of lies and outrageous. I have no problem with accountability. Right. But some of the stuff you put out there is just out there. All You've right. even put stuff on there about other agencies saying it's me. I, I, I have not. When it is you, it's in the top line. All right. So what, what is your opinion of the illegal investigation that they're doing with me with Jacob Hawkins right now? Well, as far as I know, it's not an illegal investigation. It, but it, it is illegal. I'm not speak, I'm not going to talk about some open investigations right now. All right. So you agree that even though Rutherford Institute has said this is not, it's the Constitu Florida Supreme Court already struck it down in 94. All right, if that's so, the case, we'll get to the bottom of it and we'll find that out. You already know, Jacob Hawkins hates me, I hate him, this is a, like a vendetta. You hate everybody in my agency. I don't hate everybody, man. This is the first time we've had a conversation in six years. That's because every time you want to have a conversation with me, you do nothing but... I, ha I have to ask me. real... You've had 365 people quit, fired, and retired in, in six years out of an agency of 600, that's normal? had a lot of retirements. Yes, I've had a lot of people who have done stuff that that does not meet my standard and I've right. had to let go. Isn't that what you want me to do? That's you right. James keep, White. James White. Why like aren't that? you arresting James White then? James White was charged. Uh, James White is not charged for selling a date rape drug. Now we're now we're wondering why why okay, isn't well, number it one there's no evidence that he did sell a date rape drug that or a steroid that investigation was being conducted by FDLE they right. worked it they worked with the state attorney's office I only handled the administrative part of it right so anyway so everybody asked me why isn't he arrested it's the report is three thousand six hundred pages that's huge that's got to be other people involved at your agency. FDLE took the lead on that investigation. You, you, you can still arrest him. You already read the report. If you see he's violated the law, you can arrest him. Okay. Well, right? Also, they've already met with the state, and right. it's my understanding that the state said there's not enough to prosecute beyond wow. a reasonable doubt. And that's why we do the stories, man, because no, nobody... I get people all the time saying, thank you for exposing the okay, truth. But do you know what the level is for prosecution? It's beyond a reasonable doubt. They have if to it prove was that. Me, if it was me, There's I'd be in jail. There's a difference between probable cause and beyond a reasonable doubt. That's right. Doubt. If it was me, I'd be in jail. And then, and then he was out in public with his penis out, and 20 of your deputies and detectives did nothing. If that was me with my penis out, I'd be arrested. He was charged with that. You didn't arrest him when it happened. I didn't know it happened. Your son was there. Yeah, and I was disappointed. In by that, the okay? way, well, okay, we by took the care of it. That's right. We paid for the uh, the file on your son and the file on Jacob, and we are not getting it yet. Can you find out what's going on with that? You need to call my records and find out. All right, we we've tried. I know you've had some other outstanding stuff that you hadn't paid for in the past. I don't know if you made up on that. I know you've complained a wow. lot about the different charges. Oh, it is. That's a whole other investigation in South Correct. Yeah. So that's why I do what I do. We're trying to expose, let people know what's going on. And this is our first conversation in six years. I will at least say thank you for actually having a kind of a good conversation. But that's why I do what I do, man. I mean, you're crucifying people every single day, and yet we, we can't expose your stuff. And, and for that, I get illegally investigated. I'm a reporter being illegally investigated under a statute that was struck down in 1994 by the Supreme Court. Rutherford Institute out of Washington, D.C., are you saying that they're a nobody? I'm not saying that at all. All right, then. Then, then what's going on? I have Douglas Malloy, an ex-federal prosecutor, that said to turn you into the Andrew, FBI. Andrew, I've already said that I'm not going to discuss an open investigation with you at this point. Okay, Douglas Malloy said to turn you guys into the FBI because you, okay, you then illegally... turn me into the FBI. I am. Illegally look me up with the David system, Robert Tuck. Put it on Leo Affairs for all 600 people to see. Was that to bring me donuts? Was that to bring me donuts when he put all bring my information donuts. on Leo? Yeah, usually you guys do donuts. You're here at a place, do they, got do they do got donuts right there. So anyways, coffee, so. all right, and then Mark Christianer makes a death threat. I still haven't got the IA number on that well, to prove that you're really doing it. Wasn't, 
wasn't put in English, so we're trying to get it interpreted. There's a lot of different dialects in it. Th that is true. That was done on purpose, I'm sure you realize. Okay, so it's taken us time to figure right. out what the dialects say. And then the last thing is the illegal investigation. That's when Douglas Malloy said that, ex-federal prosecutor, that he told me that he's, he's taken you guys to court before because you're so us. corrupt. Taken you, whatever, I don't care. The, so that's way worse than... So, anyways, I'm talked out, man. At least to talk that, I'm shocked. I'm very, very shocked. But that's an illegal investigation. That, that's sad, dude. Just because we do investigations on you, you're illegally investigating me? Well, I understand that's not what that's about. The, the one with Jacob Hawkins, that's, you that's an illegal investigation. Okay, then care. tell me, then send me everything that he's going for already. We already know he's got Facebook. What else did he go for already? What are you talking about? He's already subpoenaed my Facebook page. We have the subpoena. Yeah, because he's conducting an investigation, so... What does that have to do with the YouTube video? So you're using that to literally investigate me on everything so you can go I'm fishing. investigating you on everything. You, you know that you know what he's doing. I know the specific allegation that you're being investigated for, yes. Then why didn't you come to talk to us about it a long time ago? It's being investigated as a potential crime. Oh my God! It was already struck down right, by Andrew, the Supreme Court. I'm not going to go around and around with you on that. All right. Okay? So it, it, that it was not a crime. Talk about anything it else? was not a crime. Uh, yes. Uh, who is the one that's being told in an investigation right now? Who's what? There's an IA investigation that is being told, which means it's a criminal charge. It's back in like 518. By law, by FDLE law, we're supposed to at least get a piece of paper that's saying, you know, the date, the time, the name, etc. And they won't even give us that. I'm not familiar with one being told right there, now. There is one told under criminal investigation. I'm trying to get it forever, and you guys won't give it to me. I will admit this, Skip, the first time he's talked to me in six years, that's that's improvement. That, mu that must mean he's running for office, right? Uh, We're going to try yeah, to prevent that. Not but soon. Right. That's true. Two years, but you got to start early. So, anyways, um, uh, yeah, that's it for, I could go on forever, but as you've seen for six years. Yeah. Did you have anything to do with taking down the YouTube site? Taking down which YouTube site? Uh, my Live Free or Die YouTube site, 70 million views. I don't even watch your YouTube site. All right. All right. About. Well, that was weird how it was taken down the same day that I went to talk to Kalia about the corruption at your agency. I mean, literally before I'm coming in to do the video to talk about your corruption, my YouTube channel was taken the down. Of corruption? Uh, uh, it's when I look it up, you're there. <laughs> yeah, you need to really look up the definition. Of yeah, corruption. when I look it up, you're there. Every time I go there, it's like fuck. Bill Permel is there, man, right there. Uh, yeah. You have coffee outside? No, I don't drink coffee, but thank you. I he doesn't drink, he doesn't drug. That's why he wants to take away everything from everybody. I gotta make myself a tea, though. Okay. Anyways, at uh, least you talked. Easy. I am shocked. That's the first time in six years that he's actually talked. That means he's running, correct? Okay, I got a new story. This is good that we met. So check this out. So after I talked to you, I called up the state attorney. I said, okay, there, you guys are paying for it. It's verified, right? Okay. Did you, did you hear how big the file was? 3,600 pages. Oh my God. I cannot wait. So I told her, I said, okay, once you get it, once you get it, you know by law, FDLE law, I can get it, correct? For free, right? Yeah. Do you know what she said? This is a new story for you, I'm serious. Thank you for doing the Ruben Gonzalez thing. I didn't get to do it yet because it's been so big. I went to the Northport cop sucker thing last night. Ooh, it's bad. Do you know what she told me? Everybody has to pay. That's a lie. Yeah, it's not really funny. What's that? Not how it's supposed to be. So guess what she did after I talked to her on the phone? My friend yelled at me, a patriot that fights corruption. He goes, dude, get it an email. It's, you know, because I didn't record it because that's kind of illegal. He goes, get it an email. When I got home from work, guess what she sent me in the email? The bill. So guess what my friends is guessing? This is a whole new investigation. How long has a state attorney been charging everybody for the same thing? And if we bust him on that, 
How much money do they have to give back? How many lawsuits could they possibly have? You know the state attorney is a little bit dirty, right? Maybe. <laughs> so anyways, that is a news story for you. Okay, tell you what. Tomorrow I am going down there to do a video because this I am pissed that the state attorney doesn't even know FDA, I mean, F, uh, the free, what do you call it here? Sunshine Law. They don't even know it. We literally got in a fight on the phone. I can get it free. No, you can't. I can get it. No, you can't. No, I, it was like we both hung up on each other at the same time. It was so sad. That's sad, right? Yes. So can we do a citizen's arrest on them? <laughs> All right. Anyways, please look into that. That's a new tip. So you got a new tip. Thank you for doing Ruben Gonzalez. Uh, and she already told me, and I'm sure you've already heard, unfortunately, it's going to take like freaking two weeks to get this thing. It's so big. How are you going to do a story that big? I mean, like the whole page one day, or are you going to be like a page for a week? So here's a good thing about what I do. As you know, I'm going to freaking put that sucker everywhere. I I don't care. I want people to see it. How many people do you think are involved in it here? Maybe? <laughs> I know you got to stay neutral. Anyways, all right, good to see you. That's the new tip. State attorney is stealing people's money. That's bad. Right? Anyways. All right. What's, so, can I ask a question? Yeah. Yes. All right. So, what is what is your opinion of uh, Copwatch holding the police accountable? You know, I, I don't have any comments about your station. Anything to do with it. All right. Nothing. What about what about James White? Nothing. Can, can I ask a question? Okay. What is your opinion of Copwatch holding the police accountable? What? Of cop watch holding the police and the sheriff accountable. Do we have the right? I don't. What is cop watch? Uh, we're the ones that uh, do Facebook, YouTube, and et cetera, exposing the corruption at your agency and other agencies. America is a free place. All right. So you actually do agree with that? If it's true. So are, are you the guy that was in the Rodney McGee thing? Were you on one of his videos I'm sure when they were trying to trespass him? I'm sure I've been in several. All right. So yeah, on that case, you kind of did good, kind of not. You were saying that she had to give her phone up right at that time. All right, sir. You remember that one? They had the see, they had the recording on the phone. You said you had. You're asking me stuff that occurred how long ago? Uh, not that long ago. It, I'd have to I'd have to have something right to remember. So right. But you're saying that if they didn't give up the phone right away, that they could alter it, and then it's not admissible. Call any of that, but I'm sure if it's on video, you'd be able to get All it. All right. Well, yeah, I'll do that. I'll take this piece and put it with that piece. To, but yeah, you did the video and but, see what it says. Okay. But I don't recall. Okay. Now I'm asking a question right now. Then is that true? Is Can true? I bring in the video later? In regards to what? Okay. Like, let's say I had video of something that happened. Like you were there for the Rodney McGee thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. She had it on her phone, but you were saying that she, you had. Okay, let's screw that. Let's say it was on my phone. You were saying at that time, you have to give me your phone right now for it to be admissible at that. Why can't I bring it in later on a, a CD or something? Or you... I would have to go back and look at the report right. in regards to what actually occurred. Right. You're asking me about something that right. occurred. I don't right. know how and, no, and I don't want to ask you about, okay, screw and that situation. It's... I'm just saying let's make up a new situation. Let's say I had video right now, today, which I do, and I said I want to use it for uh, a complaint. Okay. Okay. Can, do so I it's have, evidence. Do I have to give it to you right now, or can I bring it in later? Is it evidence? Uh, it is. Okay. Then why wouldn't you give it to me right now? Be because I have to go home and get it off the card. But we can get it off the card. I don't really trust you guys so whoa, much. Whoa, okay, so... But, whoa! So, so guess <laughs> that's what? That's my point to That's you my point to you is that there's a lot of other cases that I've done on you guys where you've gotten the evidence later. You knew that they have it, but you were fine with getting the evidence later. It's only when you're dealing with us, me, Rodney McGee, or Ian that you give them crap like that. That's what I'm... You know, why... Is that discrimination? Really? It is! 
Actually, you know, I'm going to make a compliment. You actually, what? You, you actually had two good cops that stood up for the Constitution the other day with Ian McGuire. I want to say that's awesome. Well, that, again, that's what we do. So, well, you're, again, you're, no, you're Pale, asking... Pale told me to shut the camera down at a public event. I'm sorry, I got to go, but I wanted to say thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you it. You have a great day. Why? I, th I bet she's a cop's wife. But anyways. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. You have a great day. For all you do. Thank Holy you. shit, you're SWAT too? So yes, your buddy Pale told me to shut the camera down at a public event. That's illegal. But yet you've got two other cops that stood up for Ian's rights, which was beautiful. Why is that? You're asking me situations that I wasn't a part of. I'm not going to answer what other deputies okay, did. Okay, was Pale seat. right in telling me to shut it down at a public event? I don't know what the situation is. Okay. You're, you're asking me things that I don't I can have ask any... you. Okay, let's screw so, that up. Okay, okay, let's. If you want to ask me something right. that I was involved in right. or that I was a part of, and I have it in front of me to look at and review, right. of course, but you're asking me things that I'm not even aware of. Okay, so this is a public so, event right now. Can I record? You publicly you announced it. I know. Okay, so I have the right, right? Yeah, you are recording. Okay, I know that. So I have the right, right? Yes. Pale violated my rights. He's, he's on your team. Can you please if, look into it? If are you, you his boss? I'm not as boss. All right. So. I'm sorry. She really wanted to come over and talk to you. Yes. And see yes. Thank you. you Thanks at least for that. trying. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what do you think of uh, Cop Watch holding the police accountable? You think that's good or bad? That's, that's your right. Is that fair? That's, you can do that if that's what you think. Right. You well, you guys hold us accountable every day, right? We enforce the laws, yes, sir. Right. Well, what if the laws are unconstitutional? What if there's no victim, no crime? Well, what's your opinion on that one, sir? Right. You, do you feel a little guilty, sad that you're ruining people's lives for policing for profit? We're not ruining people's lives. We don't make that decision. Did you know there's a book out called Three Felonies a Day that even you are committing three felonies a day? So, I don't know about that. So if we came to your house with that book and charged you with three felonies, would you like it? I'd have to know about the laws in order to comment on that, sir. All right. Well, that's how many laws, they're local, state, and federal, that you're literally right here, right now. We can open up that book, just like the KGB did, and charge you with three felonies. Would you like it? Would your family like it? I can't comment on a lot that I don't know about, sir. Oh, I know. Same thing for us. So I'm being illegally investigated under a statute that I had no idea about, that the sheriff actually admitted to on video. Even though the Rutherford Institute out of Washington, D.C. said it's unconstitutional, struck down by the Supreme Court, and he doesn't care. I don't know, I don't know anything about that one, sir. All right. Do you believe in the right to record? Do it in a public place. I have no issues with there you go. In a place. Actually, if you're in a public place, actually, if you're in a private place at a public event and there's a public official there, can you record? I can't answer that one because I don't know that. That's yeah, that would actually. that would be a yes. But anyways, hey, at least you said hi. You got me there. All right, you have a good day. Police use who may want to retaliate against him physically. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch, and I just wanted you to know that uh, I am using this stuff under fair use. And uh, also, uh, remember to like and subscribe this channel. Uh, also, too, uh, keep in mind, I do not make any money on YouTube. Uh, this is uh, five hours work a day, uh, you know, fighting for freedom. And uh, I do, I, you can donate with PayPal and Patreon. Uh, I just want you to think about this. If everybody gives uh, to PayPal and Patreon, Patreon is every month. Actually, PayPal you can do every month. I have 12,000 subscribers. If everybody gives, I can uh, quit my regular job and go full-time investigations on Charlotte County and possibly even more and beyond. So just keep that in mind. If everybody helps out, I can go full-time doing this. Thanks.